What's up, YouTube? My name is AJ Grayson17, and today I'm going to be uh, showing you guys how to fix the lag on Cubeworld, which most people who have laptops and are running Cubeworld usually lag at about 10 FPS, like tops. So uh, today I usually get like 15 FPS, but now I get about 25 ish, which is a major improvement. This is also a fix for uh, lag, like freezing, um, blue fog. It can work for blue fog depending on your computer. Uh, it could be the please wait screen. This could fix it. Um, so let's get into it. First, you're going to want to go to documents, and in documents, you'll see on the left hand side it says local disk C. I'm going to want to click on that and then go to, uh, it says program files x86. Uh, Excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, program files x86. You're gonna want to double click on that. Uh, scroll down, and you should see Cube World, like the folder. Click on that. Double click. Uh, and down here, somewhere inside of here, you should see like options.cfg. You're gonna want to right click on that. Um, and first you gotta highlight it. Right click on it and then it should say open with and when you click open with you're gonna um, pull up this screen that says other programs you don't want to go to the recommended probably but in other programs you should see notepad you're gonna wanna open it up with notepad and you should see the options menu for keyboard inside this options menu you'll see that there's loads of different options uh... one is full screen you're gonna wanna go in full screen there it's common sense that it would be windowed would run faster, but trust me, full screen is actually faster, believe it or not. Your resolution, I usually just fit it to my screen. It doesn't help me at all, um, lag-wise. And uh, anti-alley, I, I can't even pronounce that. Um, you're going to want to have it on zero, no matter what. Render distance, I just put it on one, just because it lags a ton if you have 25% which I don't know why they don't put lower percentages because or Wally at least doesn't put lower percentages sound and everything is fine camera speed you could put it any really camera smoothness you could put at zero that would help a bit uh... yeah the rest is up to you but after that you're going to want to go to file make sure you do this and click save and you can exit out of that and that will be already on keyboard Next things, uh, you're gonna wanna. The link will be in the description, but you wanna go to this nbdev.com. Not sure if you can see that, but yeah, it's called nbd or uh, enbdev.com, something like that. And as soon as you get to this page, you're gonna see like this little downwards arrow. If you can, if I can zoom in. That downward arrow. That's the download link. If you click that, then you download the anti-freeze. This is for Skyrim. This is actually a, like a Skyrim mod to make it less lag, but um, or lag less. But it apparently works on Cube World, so yeah. As soon as you get that, you're gonna um, you're gonna wanna open it first. So I'm gonna go to my downloads and find it real quick for you guys. There it is. It will say ENB series Skyrim. That's all I can see, really. And once you open it, you don't need any of this bottom half crap. All you need is this and this. But once you do that, you can go back to your Cube World folder and then just drag and drop them in. And as soon as you do that, I'm not gonna do it because I already have them in there, and I have to teach you other steps. Now uh, I'm gonna. Exit out of that. That'll help a lot. That'll help with the blue flog. Uh, please wait. Screen will take way less to load the render distance, and you'll probably render faster. Uh, exit out of that. Documents. Uh, next thing. This will also be in the description below. Um, this is just the text that uh, I got from somebody off of YouTube it's an inscription inside of that Skyrim thing now uh... 
this is, this is pretty easy. You just gotta watch it. It looks complicated, but it's really not. In the cube world folder, when you put that Skyrim, uh, those two Skyrim things in, it'll say ENB patch. It'll be that. And then just double click on that and it'll open up a notepad. Something similar to this. And as soon as this opens up, you're gonna wanna come back to this page. You just click, click copy right there, but I don't really trust it. If, um, I don't really wanna, I don't know. <laughs> Too lazy. Uh, anyway, you're gonna wanna copy all of this. Then go back to the notepad. Delete all of this crap. You don't really need it. Then you just control V or you can just copy paste, whatever you want to do. And then, um, yeah. That'll reword it to pretty much Cube World's standards, I believe. And then make sure that you click save again. And you can exit out of that. Next thing that you can do. This is the very last step, I believe. Uh, you're gonna wanna, if you do have an antivirus like AVG, which you get a free monthly trial for, uh, you're gonna wanna, and it's, it's antivirus, so you're not really gonna get a virus from it, so you can trust me. Uh, go to AVG, I'm just gonna double click on it, then you'll get this green, I still have 29 days left, you can see that. It'll give you about a month's worth and it's it'll get rid of your viruses and everything it's actually pretty great but I used advanced system care so I don't really use this in lessons for gaming you're gonna um as soon as you get this if you do get it this will help a lot um go up to the top right corner it says options you're gonna wanna click on it down below it'll say advanced settings you're gonna wanna go there it's got its own little folder and then uh it'll say exceptions right underneath update and then in exceptions you can see I already selected it but um you're going to want to go down to add exception sorry the um whatchamacallit is squeaky where you guys can hear that but uh, as soon as you get into here you're going to click select exception type and then you're going to go to folder make sure that you do folder then right here you're gonna want to go back to your keyboard folder. Have your keyboard. Uh, I probably should have said this earlier, but keep your keyboard folder open for everything. Copy the um link to keyboard your folder. And uh, right here, you're gonna want to copy paste. Then do browse. Make sure that you have it selected, and I do. Okay. Uh, click OK, and. So you just gotta click OK now, and it says creation. Yeah, I already have it in, so it's in that. But yeah, that's all you gotta do, and you can mix out the baby G. Uh, now another thing that you could do that could help a bit is go to this little arrow down here if you're using Windows. And it'll pop up like all these little tasks. You want to end some of these tasks because I only have like nine running and I used to have about 12 or 15, which is really bad. That slowing down my computer a ton. Uh, also, something that you might want to do is go to. Uh, you could get the Razer Game Booster, but you can't use this on the game, sadly, or else it just won't work. But you're gonna wanna go to Razer Game Booster. Click. Alright, hold on, let me load it up. You get exit out of the keyboard folder now, by the way. <coughs> this is just for, uh, you can defrag your cube world, which helps probably a lot, I'm guessing. As soon as this launches up. If it even wants to. Yeah, there we go. You're gonna go to tools as soon as you get this. This is Razer. You can trust Razer no matter what. They make very good products. You can look them up at uh, razorzone.com. They're probably my favorite gaming uh, uh, accessories, I guess you could say. But you're gonna go to defrag inside tools. 
and then uh, you're gonna wanna click and drag the cube world. Uh, hold on, yeah, you you may need the folder open. I'm not sure. Uh, let me find it again. Uh, cube world. Oh yeah, and you're gonna wanna launch cube world from the folder. But I was going to say that afterwards, but who cares? <laughs> anyway, um. Hold on, uh, yeah. Drag uh, cube.exe into this, because that's where you're going to open it from. You're going to want to click on it so it's highlighted, and then press defrag. And this is going to defrag all my, um, cube world folders that are in it, and it doesn't take very long. And, uh, yeah. It's, it shows you everything that it defragged to make it run faster, and it just did 50 files that pretty much made it faster, which is excellent. You could uh, analyze, you could diagnose the update, I guess, tweaks. Yeah, you don't really need, actually, you don't need the game booster anymore just for that defrag, really. And now I'm going to show you what the game looks like. You don't want any browsers open too, because that will lag it a lot. A lot of people do that not knowing that, but um, just about every game if you have a browser open, it lags unless you have a desktop, really. Anyway, uh, you're going to launch it from cube.exe. If you don't have the dots open, it'll just be cube. You're going to open that up. It'll automatically start the game, so you don't have to log in or anything. Ah, uh, that's the wrong one, actually. I think it's just Cube World that I have to run. It'll go full screen if you know it worked. Hey. Hold on, guys. See if I can fix this. Not sure what happened, but it does work. It usually always works. Just the time I'm recording, it doesn't work. Which is kind of sad. But, uh, yeah. Let's see if I can get it to work. Nope. Uh. Not really sure what's happening. Because if you know it works if it goes full screen. So I'm going to go back to options. See if it's on full screen. Yeah, it should be on full screen. So I'll get back to you guys when this is working. Alright, I'm back. And I figured out that the issue was I was running too many cube world processes, I had about five running, which you should make sure of that you're not running that much. Also, I ended the Razer Game Booster uh, process. I'm not sure if that helps or not, but, yeah. Now, um, if you want to know if everything is working, there, you, c you probably saw that there's like an icon up there that said it. Now I'm just going to show you my FPS on Cube World. This is this please wait screen won't take long, but yeah, they usually do. So don't expect to go fast on that. Now uh, here's some things in game that you could take care of too. Um, you could press M to go to the map, and you what you want to do is zoom out. You don't want to have it zoomed in, trust me on that. Or else it could lag like crazy. Now you can see I'm um, actually getting pretty high frame rate. Pretty decent at least. And uh... Oh god, there's cocks everywhere. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you should get about... 20, 25 FPS. And don't expect, like, uh, very few lag spikes because there will be a lag spike here and there. But what I suggest you do in those lag spikes, if you're, like, fighting, then just run around in circles. If you have health pots on, you just keep 
spamming those like every now and then. Like I, you, I usually do that like in a boss battle because I always lag for some reason in a boss battle. Anyway, yeah, you should get. It's don't like be surprised if you get a huge lag spike every now and then if you're on a laptop. That's a dual core at least. Cubo has a problem with uh, integrated cores and also dual core processors. Uh, also, if people are playing on Intel, it also has a problem with Intel's. I don't know why. Uh, yeah. And that past video on the uh, Intel Pentium, I found out actually was not anything to do with the game. It was just the fact that I had an in, uh, integrated core processor. And here's an example of a lag spike. You get like literally one frame per second, perhaps. <coughs> and I think I'm being attacked. Maybe. There's a plane runner trying to kill me. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is an example of the lag spikes that you could get. So, yeah, don't be surprised if you get a huge lag spike like that. Because I get them, like, on a regular basis, like, freaking every m at least five minutes. That's at least, too. I'd get lucky if I had one every ten minutes. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I actually have achieved a lot of levels. I have a level 38 right now at the moment and um yeah seems pretty legit this uh tutorial I actually did a ton of research just to make this tutorial for you guys and uh, help my lag on cube world I hope it worked for you I'm Adrian Grays 107 I hope this fixed your lag and I will talk to you guys later